I need this to be perfect. If you repeat this phrase too often, it can make you sound like you're not smart or grounded enough. Those who expect perfection set themselves up for failure. Intelligent people prefer completing tasks step by step and watching what they can improve on the way. They don't impose unrealistic expectations on themselves and others and avoid manipulating and demanding tone. It's not fair. Using this phrase in conversations with your colleagues and friends, you risk making an impression of a naive person. Everyone around knows that life is unfair, so expecting justice may sound a little childish. Instead of complaining, smart people ask, what can I do right now to improve this situation? They have the skill to negotiate win-win conditions, openly discuss what they're ready to give and what they're expecting to get. No offense, but isn't the best way to start a conversation either. When people hear that, they subconsciously begin to expect something offensive and disrespectful from you. Smart people won't start the dialogue with negative vibes. You don't want to make the opponent feel defensive before you even got the chance to express what you have to say. Sometimes under pressure at work, you might say, this will only take a minute, or coming right up, and then spend hours and even days to accomplish the task. If you can't realistically estimate time frame, others might think you're not that smart and reliable. If you want to support the image of an intelligent person, never promise to complete the task sooner than it might be done. It'll be smarter to leave yourself more time and finish before the deadline. It's not my fault is another childish expression that you don't want to say at work. You definitely won't get any respect by blaming others for your own mistakes. Intelligent people have the ability to admit they're wrong and correct themselves. This phrase might also provoke people to strike first and blame you even more. So, if something bad happened and it really wasn't your fault, it's better to tell the facts in a calm manner and avoid pointing fingers. Words like oopsie or my bad are definitely not the most appropriate way to express regret about your mistake. People might feel that you're trying to discount the consequences and don't want to take responsibility for your actions. Avoid overwhelming people with unreasonably long and poorly constructed sentences. Double negatives such as, I didn't have nothing, or I don't know nothing, can make you sound really silly. It's not only grammatically incorrect, but also difficult to comprehend. Two negatives in one sentence distort the meaning, which makes the poor listener hang up trying to untangle this snowball of words. I have a silly question, or this might be silly but… and other phrases, in which you call yourself not so smart, usually appear when you're not confident enough and want to play it safe. Smart people try to avoid this because they don't feel embarrassed to ask any questions. That's how they get smart. If you lack confidence but strive to make other people respect you, start taking yourself seriously and avoid judging your own actions as silly. Avoid finishing sentences with and stuff. It sounds immature and can take the listener away from the essence of your conversation. If you're voicing a list, it's better to name all points clearly. This will make you look more responsible and focused. Your colleagues and friends don't have to guess what you meant by stuff. Avoid parasite words like um, uh, like, and other fillers in your speech. The same thing with words like literally, kind of, sort of, you know, and the like. Overusing these words can like make you sound less intelligent and competent. If they pop up automatically, try to breathe deeper when you speak, and don't be afraid to take up space with a pause if you need it. That's not my job description. People who refuse to take on responsibilities that go beyond their job position are risking leaving a negative impression. Others may think you're not interested in personal growth and accomplish your minimum capacity only to get your paycheck. Of course, you need to protect your rights and stop anyone from using your time for free. So, smart people use such cases as an excuse to negotiate a promotion or salary raise instead of just brushing off the task. Never mention your high IQ as evidence that you're smarter than everyone else. That's never been my problem. Psychologists have already discovered dozens of different kinds of intelligence, including linguistic, visual, musical, rhythmic, emotional, and others. IQ tests examine only one of them and determines how good you are at solving puzzles and problems. It doesn't guarantee that you're smarter in all aspects of life. That's why referring to IQ tests as evidence of your exceptional intelligence may sound outdated. Nowadays, technologies develop rapidly and innovations quickly become history. That's why the phrase, I've always done it this way, makes you sound a bit lazy and resistant to progress. 
It makes people wonder why you didn't take the time to improve your routines. If you often repeat words that make you sound lazy and passive, it's unlikely that your boss will be eager to entrust you with responsible tasks and promotion. Another easy way to sound silly is to use words that you really don't understand in your vocabulary. If you're not 100% sure about the meaning of the word or its proper pronunciation, Google it, or at least avoid using this word. Be careful with using too many buzzwords and professional slang just to sound cool, especially with people who don't know the meaning of those words. It can make you sound like you're a robot who lacks empathy and quotes a business book. It's okay to say, I'm not sure, from time to time, if you're talking about certain facts. But if you're expressing your own opinion and putting too many qualifiers in every sentence, this may sound confusing and awkward. Smart people have faith that their point of view matters and express their subjective opinion loud and clear to avoid unnecessary chaos. Sometimes, we all get overwhelmed by seemingly impossible missions. Repeating the phrase, I can't do it, won't get you any help or support. But it can make you sound silly and lazy. Smart people look for solutions instead of making excuses. And if they really don't have the proper experience or skills to accomplish the task, they don't hesitate to ask for help. Addressing your male colleagues with dude or bro can leave a disrespectful aftertaste. The same goes for girls when it comes to females. Conservative people might find this highly inappropriate and even offensive. If you work for a very informal startup and this form of communication is considered normal, make sure it's okay to call someone bro before doing it. When you say, I'll try, it'll make you sound like you don't have enough confidence in your ability to complete the task. Intelligent people know that they are responsible for their own actions. If you claim out loud that you doubt your capabilities, others will doubt you even more. People who aren't business savvy tend to judge without doing detailed research. If you're impulsive and rude in judging people, events, and places, you may gain the reputation of a shallow person. Smart people don't rush to conclusions and take time to observe. I'm your huge fan. Idolizing people around you or celebrities can make you sound a bit naive. Any person has strong and weak qualities, and smart people respect others for who they really are and avoid turning anyone into a perfect imaginary friend. If you blindly imitate celebrities, repeat their phrases and actions, wear the same haircuts and outfits, you won't be considered a mature individual. Intelligent people have the courage to be themselves. There are also plenty of nonverbal ways to look less with it than you actually are. Constantly nodding your head, sitting in a twisted back position, or violating the dress code. If your company demands all employees to wear business casual for corporate events, and you show up wearing jeans and a hoodie, people might think you lack awareness and respect. I'll be back in 20 minutes! If you have a habit of leaving such notes at your workplace, people may think you're not very smart. A customer who has just arrived at a cafe or store and sees a closed door with this note doesn't know when you left. They can't estimate how long they need to wait. That's why it's more intelligent to indicate the exact time when you plan to return to your workplace. Got it? Good.